belongs to us because we were everywhere. They're talking about a religion that predate other races. So all of that was ours. And what they see in Kyrie's heart, they don't want him to awaken the people. Because like you said, they like to go to the athletes and entertainers to speak. Why don't they give the mic to Professor Smalls? Why don't they give it to uh, Dr. Leonard Jeffries? Why don't they let these people speak on race relations and what they know historically is true? Why they don't ever want to sit and debate with Farrakhan as much as he challenged them? Mm -hmm. Because they saw what happened when they tried to debate Dr. Ben, when they tried to debate Dr. Clark, when they tried to debate Dr. Khalid. They see what happens. We come with empirical evidence, irrefutable. Mm -hmm. They can't deny it. They can't deny it because they start their history where they come in the picture. When our existence predates them, Sure enough is when they talk about their great uh, European thinkers, when they talk about Plato, Aristotle, Socrates, Hippocrates, all these people. But where do all them people say they learned? In Kemet. All of them were students of black folks. And they wrote that down themselves. But here we got these Johnny Come Latelys trying to twist it to fit their narrative. And they don't like that we are now opening up. We are finding out who we are because only a couple of decades ago, they were trying to tell us our existence started with slavery. They act as if they saved us from ourselves. Oh no, we civilized you. You know, you were you were cannibals in Africa. You were swinging from vines. You lived in, in huts and trees. Not that. No. Yes, sir. Yo, I'm glad you brought that up, bro, because that's another point that Kyrie said in his statement, in the video. He said, how y'all told He said, where was y'all when I was a kid, when I was 10 years old, and all of this stuff was happening against my people? None of y'all was speaking up. He, in fact, brought up something that we spoke about on our show last week and a week before. He said, we had black people that was enslaved as little as 40, 60 years ago. Now, ain't that funny how stuff work? We, double black talk, we always own. 20, 30 years ago, yeah. 20 or 30 oh, years ago. Yes. And so the point I was making about them calling us cannibals, to piggyback off of what you just said, what did we learn? That children were being eaten at that school. But we know they were cannibals. We knew that for the longest. We knew they bald Nat Turner's body down, ate him, took his skin, made lamps and, and, and bags and jackets with it. We know these things to be true because they wrote it down. They didn't see anything wrong with it. They recorded this. They recorded their own savagery because they didn't think anything was wrong with it. Just like you got A-listers today, A-list actors today talking about they don't bathe. They don't bathe. They don't even wash their children. I knew something was wrong with these people, right, brother? I say, Sister Keisha, when COVID broke out and they were talking about wash your hands. Like, that's going to prevent it. Like, we've been washing our hands. That's basic. We teach the babies wash your hands. 